Greetings, arty aliens. Long time, no post. Um, so today I am showing basically my sped up watercolor sketch of a, either an octopus or a mollusk, something along those lines. So as per usual, I start off with the pencil sketch. This one I started in greys instead of the blue, which I tend to use. It's based on an earlier little watercolor thumbnail. Uh, once that's done, I start applying ink or fine liner. And then once I do that, I will color it in with the watercolor paints. And I think this is probably my sixth watercolor painting that I've uh, done. So I'm just experimenting. So it probably won't be much in the way of talking. Uh, but yeah, sit back and enjoy. Uh, one thing I do tend to draw with tentacles is I make them look more sort of worm like than octopusy. And I also use sort of a loose style, not too concerned about the consistency of the line. So, no smooth curves, they tend to be a little bit wonky because that's the style I'm going for. I've given the rear of this mollusk a sort of biomechanical look um, and the moment what I'm doing is I'm scanning it in in case I screw it up. So not much is going on here, I guess you can see the ring light. Um, I think I'm, yeah, here we go, we're back from scanning. So what I've done is I've just sprayed the top with some water and then I'm painting on some colour, trying not to go too thick. And I have discovered that doing this with the spraying on water makes it a bit too um, bleedy. Which is odd, because the first few paintings I did didn't have that. It could also be that I'm doing this at my writing desk, so the slight slant, whereas the previous watercolour painting I've done has tended to be on my dining room table, which is flat. So maybe that's why there's a bit more water slash paint movement. So here I'm just working with blues to do tentacles, different uh, amounts of paint to create the shadows. And then for the biomechanical slash cell section, gel section, I'm using mostly browns or oranges from the looks of it. Based on memory, I'm pretty sure it was just browns and different colours, so some ochres and some brown browns. And from here we just work it up with uh, more colours to get the texture. And I have noticed that because I tend to drag my wrist across the paper, I can smudge paintings when I do it. I've got to work on holding the brush towards the end and not using it like I would a pen. That's something to keep in mind for future paintings. And if you ever get in pastels, I should probably keep that in mind too. But just don't just wind up a horrible mess. Uh, one thing I haven't got into yet is waiting for a painting to dry before I add highlights. So when you add highlights when they're wet, they tend to just soak into the background colour. I went a bit overboard with the darks here. And that's that. Enjoy. Subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Push me up to lots more subscribers so I can be rich. Haha, <laughs> as if. Ciao!